Hello everyone, welcome back to the round two of the Essentials the TF Monthly Cup number two. The, we're actually in the quarterfinals, not round two. It's still best of one and we are now going to see Humble Life take on the granddaddies of European TF2 7. I am Peter, having on Kai on production and Grumpy Koi with me casting. And uh, are you ready to watch 7 uh, murder another team here? Yeah, I'm super excited. Um... Can't wait to see some more competitive TF2. Yeah, this is basically uh, people being thrown onto the altar of Seven for them to consume wholesale. I feel like uh, if this game uh, turns out to be very short, we're just going to switch to another one. We, we had that, that all set up, so it's all going to be good times. So, uh, do you have the connect info for this one that we're doing? Grumpy. Don't I don't have the connect for this one myself. All right, all right. I'll I'll get it to you. Uh, just do some talking, and I'll I'll type. Okay, no problem at all. Well, um, seven were really strong during the uh, Swiss group, and Humble Life did do a little bit of an upset beating TCM. So I'm I'm really interested to see how this one will go because the aggressive style of Humble, which we've seen so far, may come to a bit of a a grinding halt with the methodical gameplay of side of seven if they if they take take control and get in the driver's seat on this i i don't see humble being able to really if they can't control the pace against seven seven will just walk all over them yeah it's going to be a very fun match in that it's going to be this really slow methodical team that just chokes the life out of their opponents again it's basically this battering ram of crazy screaming monkeys just flying into the enemy's face right like the most Probably the most aggressive team in the tournament against the most uh, slow and methodical one. <laughs> so it's going to be a, definitely a class of styles that we're going to see here. And, and for, not, for no other reason, this might be interesting to see. And also sometimes Seven, they're known for him, uh, choking a little bit in some of these earlier matches and actually making it closer than you'd think. Uh, they're usually not being casted, so you know maybe, just maybe, we get to cast one of those uh, times where Seven are just not playing their best and just kind of cruising into the finals. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to hype this up because I'm not too convinced. <laughs> it's going to be a good game. I... I don't know. It's... I, I will be pleasantly surprised if there is an upset because it would be a complete shock, but... Just Seven are such a strong team. And they're so used to playing at such a high level that uh, a team like Humble not being together super long, I believe this this is the first time they've been playing with this roster as a group, as far as I'm aware. They've not really had the seasons of experience that Seven have, which means that the organization may be in, on the side of Seven. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. Yeah. And of course, you know, they're going up against Seven, which are this really established team. And I'm just going to go through the roster. And, you know, they have uh, Raymond, also known as the best medic in Europe. And then they have Cadiz, also known as the best demo man in Europe. And then they have Captain, also known as the best pocket in Europe. And then they have Drac, also known as the best roamer in Europe. And then they have Flash, and then they have AMS on Scout. Oh, so, uh, yeah, that's a really scary team to go up against. They are using AMS instead of stock because that's uh, the team that they're going to use for in the, the upcoming LAN. So uh, Stock has been temporarily thrown off of the roster. He's still on the, he's still actually rostered on in here, but uh, whenever AMS can play, they are, they are making him play. Yeah, and um, we currently have the side of Humble. I'll just run through the roster again because they no longer have uh, Leto. They have Humble Yon back on demo, Alba and Deox on scout, Graf and Tobbs on the soldiers and Mora on medic. These these guys all being people Alba's known for his LAN appearances. Mori was at I61, so they do have LAN experience, so they have played in sort of high what what we would consider more higher stakes environments. So they that experience may be able to push them through, but going against such a strong team. I, I, I really want to hype Humble. I really want to say that Humble can can yeah. bring something out, out of the bag because that would be so interesting to see. But it, it, mu it, must be, it must be scary 
just going against a team with such a such a history. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, there's always this chance that the seven they're just not up to it. And I also will note that the Alpha he's still using his pizza skin scatter gun. <laughs> of course, uh, at Sweeland there was a team that had all their weapons with pizza skins on them. That was a beautiful sight to behold. And Alba is uh, keeping that thing alive just uh, a little bit longer. We'll see how long he can he can keep that one up. But the yeah, the whole pizza thing, it was definitely hilarious. Ba that's for sure. Maybe uh, Alba can convince his uh, soldiers to recreate the double airstrike bomb we we got to experience at Sweelan and see how uh, Ra Raymond fares against something like that. Because uh, I I think doing doing little joke tactics like that might throw off the the side of seven being being such a sort of methodical and playing the game in such a controlled way. Yeah, and you know yeah you have to also like when we say control we we don't mean that they literally sit back and do nothing like we mean when they like they they're really good at just playing passive and playing off of small advantages. Or playing off of advantages and just making them transform into big advantages and then they push off of them so it's just this really choking play style that's very difficult to get out of and if you try to rush them down they're just so good defensively that they'll just kill you and then all of a sudden they can push off of that but uh, yeah we, we talked to this about a little bit about this yesterday and that's uh, the ams scout and ams has had some really crazy performances on scout before but he's also had some really mediocre ones and it tends to be against uh, some of the worst teams where ams really uh, he's just has this really aggressive style where he will just push into them and if they don't kill him he will just murder them and he'll just keep on going he'll keep on going forward and keep on killing them and then he all of a sudden he just has like a 5k <laughs> and it just looks crazy but it looks like we are going live we'll bring this into the first Bit of the game. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jan's gonna be in a bit of a slow rollout here, just uh, taking the, the mediocre fast <laughs> route, and Cadus is just super fast. He's being pretty uh, aggressive in here. Raph's gonna play onto the enemy med kit. This kid has already taken both soldiers, uh, placing themselves up on the high ground. Here comes the, the big soldier double bomb uh, from Captain and Drak. They do a lot of damage immediately and take up a ton of attention. They're still not dead. Drak's behind line. That means Morrow can't really properly escape. Like, Drak is still behind line as the rest of Seven now move forward. And uh, let's see where Drak goes. Oh, Drak actually doesn't manage to move forward, but Raymond will actually pick up um, Yarn as he tries to move out. Very, very aggressive uh, play from Drak there. Obviously looking to see if maybe he could go through Sirius and pick off... Uh, Morrow, but decides to stick with his team as they do push on to second. Um, at the moment, it is a it's a little advantage off of Raymond with uh, him just getting full Uber now. It's only a ten percent advantage, and uh, Alba does take down Thalash as sniper. So we could see that if Alba watches those sight lines, he could pick off Raymond and completely stop this push and it dead in its tracks. But I don't, I don't, I don't think uh, Raymond's gonna be peaking sightlines anytime soon. No, he usually doesn't. And also Thalash has now moved on to his main class, which is of course Sniper. That's, uh, that's definitely what he's mostly known for. So we're going to have a Sniper duel on our hands. Just going to receive a buff and then I think they're going to just create space inside of lobby, then move that way in. We see it very aggressively just clearing out the lobby right here. There was a single soldier just contesting the sniper, but they've all been pushed back and now Thalash will just slowly make his way forward. He doesn't really have a buff and there's a demo man very aggressively pushing him. That means he's going to be weak. Uh, so Seven, they're just uh, not really playing it completely optimal, but they, they are still playing just around the sniper, trying to... <laughs> It makes some space for him, but it looks like uh, Albert will find space for a bullet in his brain. Yeah, that was um, that was a really nice play by Albert, denying Talash from being able to make a play with the, the sniper, which uh, we've seen many a times before. Just is so powerful. He can, if he if he manages to push into a sightline, he can usually kill a, a medic really quickly. All he needs is a few moments. As we do see Thalash now going on to a snipe, uh, sorry, a spy pick. So he might be going, he might be seeing if he can make something of, of his uh by doing a uh, very similar to Alfie with uh disguising himself as a friendly sniper seeing if he can peek sight lines and then go 
in. Yeah, cue the He's... James Bond music as he just waddles his way through the enemy lines. Is waiting for a bit of cloak to regen, and then he's going to move in. And, you know, they're probably going to get somewhat suspicious when they don't see the sniper anymore. But uh, for last, he also has the opportunity of just going for something that's not a medic and just getting a pick that way and then cloak back into the shadows. That can actually be pretty effective because then the enemy team, they have to look backwards and there's an uber in their face and then all of a sudden they, they don't know where to look and then everything just collapses for them. But we'll see how uh, Seven decide to play this. It looks like they're just actually going to go in there with a the scout and a demo man. Unfortunately, they lose the scout, but uh, last has struck, taking down the sniper and uh, almost taking down the soldier as well, but not quite going to be able to succeed. And uh, yeah, three players go down for Seven and that means they're one player down and they might get pushed on. Yeah, no, that was... Um a really really nice time for uh seven to actually push in because they had so much information from ash because of the position he was in he could call to his team exactly where the enemy team was so when they come in they had they had the ability to focus uh, targets really easily but they weren't able to really cap capitalize as the exchange goes out mori does have a little bit of an advantage but we do see captain going up behind seeing maybe if he can pick up a player Getting down Tobbs as uh, Cadus and Drac finish him half. Cadus taking out Darks. So much time on the point, and the round is going to seven. <laughs> yeah, really aggressive pushing right there. Just as Cadus alone was just keeping so many players occupied on the right side, and then everyone else just kind of walked in. And I really like it whenever seven does this, where it's just like they aggressively take command of one side of a point, gets like two kills and now all of a sudden they'll just keep on moving and if they don't get those picks they'll just be in a position where they can still move out so it's just a complete clinic by seven right there gonna make it one to zero as the sorter goes in very good rap he tries to go in behind lines but he takes so much damage in doing so that uh, it's gonna be a while until he can come back in but captain will actually be the first one to go down and actually seven they've taken a lot of damage and now there's a sorter in behind them so the, the Wrath fail bomb is actually working out in their favor right now, and Mario is still super safe. And it's just basically, can Raymond escape? Because he's in pretty deep right now. Oh, he's going to surf. Yeah. Wrath is behind with them in sewers. He is able to take down Drac, and uh, Raymond does go to Alba. That is a very, very strong mid for the side of Humble Life as they push on to the second point. Uh, we do see the NG pick going up for Thalash, seeing if maybe he can uh, delay any sort of push they they come through. We've seen not so much today, but yesterday there was um, some problems with sentries and uh, humble life, not really knowing when to focus the the sentry down, and they do delay it a very long time and give that sentry a lot of space to deny their pushes. So we sh they should hopefully call that out and see if they can get Yon on to picking that down. Yeah, this is a, uh, it's a very careful balance you have to strike here. You have to scout out the sentry, spam it down, but you also can't waste too much time because otherwise you'll lose your uber advantage. Now, it looks like uh, they, they, they've spotted the sentry, they're just going to spam it out while ubering in here. So that's what the decision they're going with. They're just going to uber in a scout very aggressively. They're not really getting any kills on seven. They only took down the sentry gun, but they're in very deep right now. But at some point, they're going to have to get some kills. Dia's going to come in here. He's onto Raymond. Looks like he's not going to be able to get him, and now he's just being slowed down by this fat heavy. And it, as it turns out, it's just going to be a complete fail. A great hole from seven. Really, really confident. Not not losing any players doing that last hold and slowly whittling down their enemy team. As captain does go in very deep, seeing if he can pick off Deox, but he doesn't. He's not able to do so. As we see, um, Rack on his own in IT. Maybe seeing if he can actually push in and get a kill. Raymond drops. Was that a drop? Oh, yeah, that was indeed. Oh, a really nice pick they're coming out here. That will be... It's still going to be a, a midpoint, I assume, but it's going to be recapped very easily, I suspect, as well. It's just uh, all about can they not lose Morrow in the process. And uh, look at that. Everyone from 7 are just out. And there was even some stickies on the point, but <laughs> nobody has spotted them yet, but uh, they also didn't get hit by them. So that's the second time today where we see some good sticky traps not working out. But at some point, right, like a medic's going to just back off into a bunch of good stickies. Morrow's going to go through... Oh, he's not quite going through aggressively enough here. Finally, they're going to make it in. And right now, uh, Humble Life, they're in so deep. And they actually managed to take down uh, some players. And if they can just put time on the point, and get themselves on the high ground, this is looking great. Yeah, they've got a huge add. So maybe if they push themselves through one, or maybe even roll out, seeing if they can obviously use that advantage. But there is only a 
20%, 15% now advantage to the side. As they Uber in, Raymond rotates ground with the 96%. He'll probably be able to get that Uber and he's probably going to pop much later or even hold it as he... And he doesn't see much reason to do so as captain it helps push out humble john john is so low as yeah, the rest of the team all back out <sighs> one thing i noticed there was diego was actually out of ammo on that push he had like four shots in his scatter gun so he couldn't really contribute for that push so he, and he was the one who really needed to chase down the medic but there once again seven it just seems like they're so evasive when you push in it's just like you're pushing into water it's just like it just goes out of the way and then all of a sudden then kate uh Kate was just having to like stick it off and Raymond has uh, a full Uber and now it's in the opposite situation and now it's going to be Morrow who's going to have to be water and Kate is like to get taken down again so the sniper is just really causing rockets on 7 when they're pushing. Currently very sort of stalemate obviously both teams with um with Uber but Kate has just resubbed so they don't have their demo as they're holding this mid Midpoint against second. We will, we will, we will see. Oh, obviously, Cadus now is back up. Yeah, it's, it's an, when there's an even Uber like this, it's always very interesting to see. Sometimes people will go really far left in to just kind of push in and gain a lot of space. Sometimes they'll send in suiciders. Sometimes they'll try to rotate in a different way. This is going to be a suicide. It's going to be Drac going in there. We'll actually get the force off of uh, Morrow. So great job by Drac. Uh, that worked out really well. And nobody able to make it in far enough to be of any chance that Raim is going to have to pop from it. So just completely successful bomb in there by Drac. Yeah, I did see that Alba was actually checking to see if any off classes. I'm not sure why he wasn't actually with his team during that, and he was just uh, back as spy checking for any off classes on the side of seven. As seven do Uber through lower IT, pushing, getting Morrow down. Am's cleaning up that kill as Captain does jump on them. Kados taking down Alba. Raf, Raf takes down Drac as they are pushing into lobby. But uh, Captain, Captain and Raf kill each other. Kill themselves <laughs> off each other. Yeah, yeah now seven that as they get on this point. point. Nah. Really, yeah. really confident last push, even though there was that little uh, fumble by Captain and Raf killing each other on lobby. Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't all that pretty, but uh, it worked out in the end. And as it turns out, when you have two scouts on the point, it all cap really fast. So um, that's going to make it two to zero in favor of seven. But, uh, let's see, they haven't had the best mitts so far. It's been very kind of black and white on and off for them on these middles so let's see last time around they sort of got behind them but this time around there will be no such shenanigans but instead the last will be the first one to take a lot of damage and get pushed back and it actually looks like seven are in a pretty bad position but they're coming in from a lot of different sides the double sorted bomb the double scout aggression onto them and just completely boxing everyone into a corner taking them down Raph will come in and finish off a little bit but everyone else from humble life are just out uh, through a choke yeah, that was uh, that was really, really good by Seven. Just coming at every angle to the enemy team on behind their crates, just not giving them any sort of opportunity to escape. And they did pick up some really nice kills during that, as both demos were really slow and opted for a right, right mid during that gate, uh, that mid fight. As a uh, humble yawn, just watching one, seeing if he can get any any mm. sticky kills or anything like that. Anyone peeking, but at the mm. moment it's yeah, interestingly enough, Captain held the door open in forward spawn and the last ran back and then instead of switching to Sniper, he switched to Heavy. So that's very interesting, right? There's now a, a Deox Sniper against a Thalas Heavy, so I'm not sure how they plan on using this. So I'll keep my eyes open. The normal way to use a Heavy is to kind of Uber in, exchange Ubers, and then once people have just fired at each other a whole bunch, then you just walk in the heavy fully buffed and he'll just like start shooting at them and he just has ammo for days. But uh, we'll see how they do this. They won't actually take a ton of damage. Captain's on 3 HP. Yeah, Am Ams did go down to Deox's sniper. So uh, Raf goes down on the side of... Uh, oh no, Drag goes down as well. So at the moment, I don't see any sort of push. Both teams very equal with... Uh, the Thalash Heavy could be very powerful, but they don't have the speed to kind of engage in that last push, so they'll have to use Thalash as sort of a spearhead for their next uh, push in. Probably be yeah. the best option for themselves. 
Uh, at least one thing that's really good about a heavy is that when, when that heavy is parked on the spire, he's very difficult to deal with when he has like a heavy or like when he's being heavily buffed by a medic and has um, just everything on him. Uh, Raph is trying actually to go spy and uh, he sees the heavy and he knows that heavy is so fat that there's no way he can run around him, right? He actually has stickies all around him as well. I, I bet you Raph is just sweating right now, like, uh He's going to lead a water trail as he walks over here, but he will sneak his way down into the lower lobby. And now he's going to be in a really good position to actually uncloak and go in for the medic. And here we go. But, but they have Uber already, already come out. Deox uh, looking to see if he can maybe pick off Captain uh, as the Uber exchange just goes down. He's got his eyes trained on trying to get on Raymond, but he does take down Captain instead as Thalash takes a huge amount of damage. Another headshot onto Thalash as a very low side on the side of seven as uh Cadis does get picked up doesn't so look actually doing work on this heavy but it's two heavies right now and this should favor the defending team because it's a very slow moving push coming in here he's on the logo and now it's just heavy on heavy fighting but the last is somehow just winning it also taking down the soldier finally goes down and here comes captain and can he finish it off it looks like he cannot quite know no he takes down morrow Oh, right. Just take, take down Mario. That's a nice little sack from him, giving them a 90% uh, Uber ad. Probably 100% by the time Mario is up. That's a really, really strong play from Captain there. Yeah, I thought he was just going in to try and kill the Heavy and do a normal push, but everyone else just backed out and he just went for the Medic. So, yeah, that, that works out really well. And uh, now they don't even have a Heavy to be burdened with. So it's just going to be a scout demo man push in. That's usually what we see. And just a matter of where will seven go because they have this massive advantage. They could just walk in through one side, but so far they've been really struggling with snipers uh, picking off stragglers as they move in. And yeah, they're just going to go in from the right side, and now they're just in, and they've done a ton of damage and taking down the sentry gun. They're putting some time onto the point, but there's still some stickies on. Akita is now just on the point. Hits a nice really pipe. Really nice onto pipe. Point. Yeah. I was just scouting on the point, but the seven they're actually faulting quite a bit. It's a really nice hold so far. It's just a single scout. Doing his absolute best, Yon Raymond. Dealing Can he so much damage. Oh, Ams goes down, and Raymond gets picked up. That's a full wipe for seven. That's, Perfect hold. That was a that was an absolutely phenomenal hold. Even though their engineer's uh, sentry went down so early in that fight that it was just absolutely no use, they immediately off um, went back to scout, and uh, they managed to clean up seven on that last push. As they do go on onto the mid, but Talash does take down oh, Mara with a fully charged body shot. And yeah. uh, Talash really low, but manages to get away. Yeah, once again, just these snipers just doing so much work on this map so far. Bronze is a pretty good sniper map in general. There's a scout in here trying to take down this sniper, but uh, no, not going to succeed. Talash goes down to 9 HP, but 9 HP is not dead, and now he gets arrowed. And he's going to be fine. The 7 level take middle. They have a full, uh, I don't know, 30-ish. 40% advantage depending on how how well the both teams are building and they also have the sniper advantage which means that they can just kind of bully their way forward and just create space and then the sniper will get a bunch of free looks and hopefully at some point they'll make it in and actually you can just see the sniper they everyone are so afraid of the last sniper that they're just backing off but the captain will actually be the first one to go down to the alba sniper instead but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just snipers are being made space for and they're just hitting their shots right now. And seven, they will be able to take second without expending the Uber and they're going to have it for last. Yeah, with a huge 40% add, they should be able to just go straight in. If they don't hesitate at all, they're going through uh, lobby. They're probably going to do the classic left push with Cadus. Cadus bombs in, dealing as much damage as you can to the people on top. Raph goes down to Thalash. Thalash takes down Deox as well. Really, yeah. really strong push from the side of seven. They should be able to clean this up. Drag goes in for a very high bomb. He knocks okay, Mora up. Okay, this air shot oh. Get and absolutely destroyed. Wow. That was beautiful. Beautiful push overall. The only one who died was Falas, and he already did all the work he needed to do. So great push with the, just the icing on the cake being the basically pointless air shot of <laughs> Mora by Kate. a really beautiful one at that as he fails his rollout. Uh, I just watched uh, Drac fail his rollout as well, so this could be a very slow mid for the side of seven. 
Uh, seven slow die. We'll see, see how this mid goes. But <laughs> yeah, they're going to be slow out of the gate. That's for sure. Jack's going to position himself on the enemy house. And he's so far being on his pretty badly. But here comes Captain just bombing in, doing a massive uh, amount of damage, but not killing anyone. And that's both seven soldiers down for only some damage done. And seven, they just know they cannot win this. So yeah, seven slow die. That's what happens when you mess up your rollout. It can actually be important. Yeah. Graf going down to Thalash there, but um, yeah, Raymond just was so low and they just had to leave. But they are setting themselves up very confidently on this second hold. Adis uh, not letting anyone through or peek on to choke. As uh, the Ubers are about to equal out with a 10% add only to Raymond, so these will be equal Ubers. Nice little slow classic, probably a stalemate coming out of this is... Um, I think I think at the moment that there's going to be a control of pace coming from seven, as they have been very very confident during this game. With a, yeah. with a few upsets here and there, so a couple of pushes that uh, they should have really easily won, and they did lose against the side of humble life. So, I'm yeah, it's uh, like th they've stumbled a whole bunch, but they they recover very quickly as well. Sort of jumps in, uh, gets denied pretty hard, and the captain's going to try and see if he can chase him out, and he can indeed. Raph will not be able to escape. So that's going to be a one-man advance here for seven. So that means they can start doing things like sending in a roamer, which they will do. Drax is just in immediately. So he's going to have a slightly slower spawn queue, but uh, that's just a, a classic uh, counter sack coming out from Drax. It didn't succeed this time around, but uh, either way, it's not going to really come back to bite seven in the ass, I don't think, being one man down for five seconds. Looks like they have uh, gone to resub, letting Alba come back on sniper. Uh, obviously aware that it's equal equal Ubers at the moment. Maybe seeing if. Alba can pick off uh, Raymond and give them a chance to push into second. We are very much stuck in a stalemate. Drax seeing if he can get some space onto... Ooh, nice oh, shot. Captain goes down. Yeah, Alba really hitting uh, so some really nice shots right here. That was just a uh, perfect timing by him. His captain uh, jumped and <laughs> immediately gets uh, punished for it. Alright, and uh, Alba, he's just going to rotate around. And Demo Man is being very aggressive in choke, but otherwise uh, nothing is really happening here. Uh, Ray was actually taking a lot of damage, but uh, uh, he will get a small medkin and he should be fine. I don't know, what did he take damage from? Was it just a pipe? I think it was just spam in general that uh, landed on him. I think it was either a pipe or a sticky, I didn't really see. They am focusing on seeing if um, Alba can get an angle onto Raymond at the moment, because he's he is rotating as much as possible to see if the opportunity is there for him. As the rest of his team do rotate into sewers, maybe seeing if they can push through Oh, Captain gets uh, completely destroyed there by Tobbs. Great job by Tobbs, just air shining Captain and taking him down. Looks like Drax going to jump forward again, trying to uh, hopefully not suffer the same fate as Captain. So, uh, yeah, the, I really like that they're just continually opening the door here, just uh, le giving uh, Alba a bunch of open looks and hopefully having him be able to hit. He doesn't manage to hit anything, but uh, a lot of pressure coming out here. So I, I really like the way this is played. And now, look at seven, they're just going to go in very aggressively. They get a pick for it right away. That's pretty decent. That was and, a very uh, aggressive push. Yeah, that's uh, very on seven like Just uh, goes in really crazy. Uh, Kadis is behind and manages to pick up Moro, just jumping past the entire combo and just standing in their choke, not letting anyone go through that. Dealing so much damage. And um, it does look like Tob's very low. He is going to have to go back. As Ka Captain does look like like he's going to try and chase that. But oh, Raymond nice. goes down to Deox. Yeah, that's, just swoops in from behind and takes him down. That's, uh, that's quite crucial because it means that uh, the ad will go to the side of Humble Life. Yeah, they're going to need that because it's about eight minutes left and they're three points down. So once they get this super advantage, they should just uh, want to push. And they're not even going to wait for that. So they're going to continue to be aggressive. Just move out here and just take it for free. I really like it. Uh, oh, my God. The captain got completely destroyed. Uh, Falas also died as well. Uh, Jan with a nice air pipe completely just destroys seven here. And they're going to be looking to move on forward as well. Uh, they might, this medic might be locked out of choke. No, he makes it over the sticky trap. Deox will go down as he overextends a little bit, but it should be a midpoint for sure. Very, very aggressive play by Jon, looking to see if he can just keep control of choke, not letting anyone from uh, seven really push through. So at, at the moment, we are going back to sort of there is a little bit about twenty percent add to the side, but. 
Brat comes in behind. Can he force? He does force Morrow with a really nice high bomb into IT. Yeah, it's kind of weird uh, that Moro even popped on that one. I don't, I don't think she needed to, but either way, it happened. And uh, now Seven, they're, they're actually losing this fight pretty handily. They do still have a little bit of Uber remaining, but uh, Alba is in behind. And if he just uh, does a huge flank, then that could uh, just completely turn the tide. Actually, everyone else has retreated. I'm a bit surprised at how passive they've been playing this. Like, I would just go all in at this point. Like, I know it's seven minutes, but I would just be all in against Seven at this point. Yeah, at, at the moment, it's the the best thing to do against Seven right now would be to try and take the pace away from them. Just just try and get control of the match because if they can if they can do that, Raymond trying oh, to surf nice. away but gets taken down by Deox. That was a really nice little uh, flick from Deox getting that kill. Yeah, for Lash is uh, in. He's up on this high ground, which is very uncomfortable. Oh my god, nice shot by Tops, taking down AMS. This destroys him, but the last is still around. He's going on to the Medic. Hits one nice... No, okay, he only hit him for like 50. So, they do manage to pick it off. But uh, here comes the Soldier again. Will get taken down as well. Hits more for a big rocket, but it's going to be fine. Yeah, that was a really, really nice bomb from Drac. Yeah, they'll be able to take second now. And they will also have an uber advantage, so the dream is alive. Grumpy. It's, it, it is really nice to see that not all the time it's in one side of the court. It's a very nice float flowing game. We're going from a last point to last point during the, during this round. As uh, we see that Moro is taking her combo through into one, and they're pushing up high, to, trying to take out the arms heavy, but arms just not going down. Captain goes down. Cadus goes down. Uh, Alba does go down the center gun for Thalash, and this push is looking really strong for the side of... Oh no, they're starting to crumble as I oh, say Oh, Raymond's on 90% though, and all of a sudden everyone has just died. <laughs> Mora Can Mora get one more? Oh, yeah. oh. oh had, that was close. She had 73%, um, so even if she got the second Uber, she wouldn't have got that Uber. But... Oh, that was that was looking like such a strong push. Yeah, I know. Inside of humble life, and Thalash does go down to Alba. Yeah, it was really almost very heartbreaking. It must be for humble life, because they were basically one guy up, and then all of a sudden three of them just died at the exact same time, and then just two, one, three all of a sudden. But here comes the seven Uber. They may, will manage to take out Tops as he tries to escape, but still exceeding a soldier for the point to say pretty decent. There's even a back cap going on. It might uh, compel people to go forward. Uh, it looks Graf like takes down Drac. That was a really nice little one v one, but he's not able to to get that back cap as he is being oh, chased down. Be he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, there we go. Now yeah. he knows. <laughs> he found out the hard way <laughs> by dying to a two shot from a scout. Yeah, they're still pushing in though. It's only Cadus and Raymond alive, and Raymond will be running slowly while this happens. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be just fine, but still an uber disadvantage, and now there should be, be a, uh, another all-in push right here, just pushing out seven, and should be just fine to get second. Yeah, uh, cur currently, it's we're going to see another push come out from the side of hum Humble Life. They have got, they are in really deep, as uh, Morrow just ubers in front of the the lash heavy as they are pushing out pushes the lash out he does resub but the counter uber does come out of raymond and it does look like players from humble life are dropping like flies and they are going to have to put, push out back onto second as the uh, the counter push comes through from seven as they get chased out a choke big bomb coming in from cadus ah oh, but he doesn't manage to get morrow uh nice try nice try there <laughs> it's still a, a tiny advantage coming in here and just uh, the man and heal advances as the scout gets sent into the skybox right there. Yeah, Falas will go down. Now just AMS caught in. I don't think he's going to be able to survive. Looks like I am wrong as he takes down Alba. And all of a sudden now it's 4 and, five, uh, four and 3 in favor of 7. And that was a superior DM that won them that one. Yeah, Yon goes down sadly. And it's just Raf and Moro on the midpoint. They should really look at leaving as soon as possible. As, the, as Am's just WM1s onto... Morrow making a die. This is uh, looking like this is probably going to roll into second point being lost as well if they can't get themselves in a in decent positioning to defend. As uh, a very confident seven are looking to push into second right now. 
Yeah, there's a single sticky. There we go. They cleared it. They did it. <laughs> I think is Captain using shotgun. I think he is actually. Yeah, just uh, bringing back the shotgun uh, a little bit here. Sorta of jumps in, does not get air shot, and will actually just uh, distract for everyone else. And now seven, they lose everyone. But oh my God, Cadus equalizes that a little bit with a really nice pipe taking down Jan and Alba. And now he's just going to sticky up the point, getting ready to cap it, and then just getting ready to air shot people as they they come in. Here they go. Can you do it, Cadus? Uh, first one misses. Hits the second pipe though. But it's still three on two. He is so low. He does go down to uh, Deox though, and so does Raymond go down to Wrath. This is this is a good opportunity for another last push on the. Uh, oh no, I do apologize. But from the angle they came from, they were so separated from their last that I was confused which side we were on during that. <laughs> yeah, they, they were being very optimistic by by being that far forward. Like I, I think in a like a more clutch and important situation they would have definitely gotten the hell out of there and not try and try to take on spire but the, as it is there's like one and a half minutes left so like they can't lose so they might as well just go for the the big plays right yeah showboat for us watching watching the game as Raft does go in for a nice high bomb but he doesn't manage to catch anyone as the side of humble bun hum, humble bundle humble life <laughs> uh, well, my apologies, humble life. I just uh, whatever comes into my head, I seem to say at the moment. As they are pushing in on right, they may be able to get around from here. They do get they the can do in. it. They can do it. They got so much ground. There's not many stickies on the point. Oh, as I say that, I just noticed that there is. <laughs> As you there's, say, there's, a lot. there's a lot of stickies on the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and they're actually messing it up. They're not just not getting the kills, and now there's a fully like uh, wound up heavy just shooting them down and. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's so unfortunate. At some point, they're gonna get. To, they have to get this. That's only 45 seconds left. Oh, Kate is with the, a nice pipe, which is gonna clean up a, a scout as he tries to block it. It's not gonna work out. And now someone, they will just move forward here. They have 30 seconds to use this Uber and get more points. And uh, to get some air shots. Kate is just going all in here. Actually, takes down Morrow. Great, <laughs> great bomb there by Cadiz. Just uh, going all in. And he, he got the, what he wanted. 15 seconds left. Raymond, you need to use your Uber, otherwise you're not going to get points for it. Come on. Yeah, come on. Logs, 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 logs. Yeah, like... Come on, Raymond. Gotta use it. Gotta use it. Three, two, one. He did it. All right, okay. He's a good player. All right, all right. He right, got good. it. Whew. I was getting nervous there. Like, can well, you imagine his logs? They'd be so terrible. <laughs> What what I'm actually really happy with is that wasn't a straight wipe. Oh that, yeah, that was a that was a fine game. That was actually a really good game. I think hum, humble need credit where credit due. Being not not as a confident team, actually held themselves really well in that game. Yeah, and you know we we saw TZM yesterday getting rolled in like ten fifteen minutes, and then today humble beat TZM and then. Humble Life also did better against Seven, so I think we can just conclude that Humble Life is indeed the better team out of TCM and them. Um, uh, have a look at these. Wow, uh, Kato's actually had four air shots. That's it's pretty rare that demos have a lot of air shots. They it's only pipes that count, and uh, they don't have the same amount of like random splash air shots that soldiers get in the logs. But uh, Kato's had four, so. Pretty impressive. What's actually really surprising on the kill front front is it's actually Alba who um who who actually had the most kills during that with uh, twenty six to twelve. Uh, the damage was surprisingly close between the two two teams with equal kills of eighty three to eighty three, and uh, actually more damage on the side of uh, humble life. So it shows that seven were just better at taking their advantages. It wasn't a huge role compared to the actual score, as in the DM-wise, because there was a lot more damage going to the side of Humble Life. So that's that's actually really interesting. Yeah, that's uh, pretty surprising to me. And um, I don't know. No, we're actually not surprising. What am I saying? The 7 is just really good, right? It, it, like, uh, it was a 3-0, and it just was not close, right? Like 7, they had a few, few slip-ups here and there, like the medic getting sniped or failing some pushes, but they were always able to hold these last pushes really really convincingly or just recover very effectively so 
yeah, you know, they were probably not playing at full power, and then at the very end they were getting just a little bit too frisky, probably. But like, it, it wasn't a close game, but it was still a pretty fun and entertaining game for us to watch. So, I, I mean, I think that's uh, the best thing we could have possibly hoped for. And I'll just point out that <laughs> Drag went eight for nineteen. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, that's harsh. Well, sometimes it's not all about. Um Having the most kills is for Romer. It is about creating those plays, and he did look like he was really. There were some moments where he did create a lot of space for his team. So you don't always have to have the mad, mad kill ratios. Even though it is nice, it makes your logs look really good. But I think that's kind of a testament to the way seven players. Not all, they don't always have ridiculous like differences in logs, but they just play their advantages so well and just control the pace of the game and just keep it all in the ball always in their court yeah 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 Games. and you know logs don't tell everything it's like if you if you bomb in and force their medic in the logs you just have a death and their medic has an uber which are both like you get a negative and they get a positive even though it's the exact opposite so you can't put too much uh, stock into it but <laughs> i just wanted to say it's, it's just kind of funny because of Roma stats are a thing and they're sometimes terrible even when you're like a team that's uh, way better than your opponent, you can still end up just having a terrible game as Roma, where you just like look like you're terrible in the logs at least. But uh, yeah, that's going to be 3 to 0 for 7 over Humble Life. And then in our other games, we had uh, Dat Guys beat out Crunge Esports. So it's going to be 7 versus Dat Guys in the next round in the semi finals. And then in the lower part of the bracket, we have Easy Money beating Unbanned Trader 5 to 0. And Low Panda beating Weep Tunnel Tactics also five to zero, so it's going to be easy money against Low Panda in the other semi-final. And I believe we're going to be covering easy money against Low Panda next. So I think it's uh, it's probably time for us to have a quick break. Almost. I I, I want to just uh, shout out our sponsors. Oh yes. Uh, before we forget, it's going to be Demos TF. Plantronic and uh, Ice Cream for Crow, and uh, thanks to those guys, we will ha we all have a 500 euro, I believe, or is it dollar? I think it's euros prize pool, where uh, number one, the winner of the tournament will take down 350 euros. That's a a pretty prize, and then number two will take down 150. So that's what we're playing for today. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because the, the prize pool is a uh, is actually pretty nice. And, yeah. You know, it's nice to see that um, such a wonderful game like TF2 is getting that support to be able to hold events that actually have prize pools. And uh, moving on to the future, this is that I'm I'm really excited for. I'm just excited for more TF2. TF2 comp is the best comp to watch, in my opinion. Just by far, there's nothing quite like it. No arguments here, but uh, we I think we should just throw it to some a music break now that we've gotten all of the <laughs> all of the, the things that we had to get out of the way out of the way. So uh, yeah, we'll be back. I think news is gonna be stepping in for me so I can rest my voice. But the uh, Grumpy Coin is still gonna be here to keep you company. And then we're gonna have uh, the the huge Grumpy Coin news caster combo. So also look forward to that and also some good TF2. So so we'll be right back. Um, and that's all for me today. So uh, bye bye. Well, thank you very much. Bye.